Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to be reading r slash rules horror. We have three stories today. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Starting with Last Chance. It's the third time you've done this. We've grown tired of your attitude. How come one with the or, or act so rebellious? Alright, you have one last chance to redeem yourself. Just this one last time. You know full well what happens if you dodge a responsibility. You've seen what happens to those who did exactly that. Just this one more day and you're set. Do as you'd like. Just know that the ending will be different if you decide to cry about it. Alright, let's see. 1. Burn the posters about the missing people. We cannot risk it. If they find us, you're coming with us to where hell sends us to. 2. Clean out the rooms. We don't want that poor excuse of a smell bothering us while we do our chores. 3. Discard them on the lake. This was a no-brainer. Get rid of that smell for good and feed them to the taker. 4. Threaten the next ones. Inst all fear into their hearts. Mock them. Threaten them. Spread lies about their loved of of ones. Repeat until they're weak enough to be brought in. 5. Dig out into the ground. Bury their belongings deep. 7 feet under. That should be enough. 6. Line the windows. The mind will be paranoid not knowing when it's day and when it's night time. 7. Feed them rarely. We don't take chances. We don't want them fighting back. Let their bones and muscles get weak. 8. Chop down the trees. Power the flames. Don't ever let them out. You don't want to anger thee who waits behind the barrier, do you? 9. Charge your camera. If we're found, we can give the families these the last moments of their sweet children. I bet they'll smile. 10. Be on the lookout. We don't want some dumb teenagers fighting out about the place and sharing it with bystanders like a generic horror movie. If you see one, just shoot them with the proper equipment given. 11. Spare the animals. The mindless and the innocent mean no harm nor malice to our beautiful conjuring. In fact, they're quite hypnotized about it. 12. Clean yourself. We obviously don't want you in public with your clothes covered in blood. 13. Lay low. We'll do this once a month. I'd say to cut contact with everyone you know once you've applied to this. The you from the past is going to be a mere memory. That should be everything. Don't blow this off and keep everything in going fine. Dang. I don't know the story that led up to this, but I wonder what they did. You know, the connection is bad when it's taking this long. <laughs> okay. Here we are. It's getting loaded. Does your brain feel foggy? Does your brain suddenly feel foggy for seemingly no reason, especially at night? Follow this set of rules and you may keep your mind. Oh, the UTA again? 1. Avoid thinking about traditionally complex thoughts. This brain parasite feeds off thoughts. The more complex, the more nutrients for it to eat. Do not sleep. It feeds on your or dreams even faster than your normal thoughts. 3. Do not interact with others and isolate yourself. It spreads through sound and eye contact. 4. 
Do not listen to rules or people who seem off. It has a hard time communicating, but will try and trick you. 5. Do not focus on things. It likes that. 6. Do not consume sugar. It lights up your brain like a firework and provides it energy. 7. Drink the hopes of the sadness. 8. In the morning, visit the nearest UDA office and say the phrase, It feeds on my spine. You'll understand the UDA. I still don't know what the UDA is. Rules for visiting father's mother. I guess grandma. Well, it's been a long time. I'm not sure how you've been, Mia. But despite these rules possibly no longer being of use to anyone, I suppose I'll place them here, in case somehow it helps anyway. This is the house of the mother of the a thing we know as father. I don't know who you are or how you've gotten here, but I myself have been stuck upwards of three years. I'd hate to see that it happen to anyone else. This isn't the worst place to be stuck. I've taken it upon myself to write this out and leave it in the guest room inside of the, co inside of the pillowcase. You must have heard the paper crinkle as you lay down on on your head and dug this out, blew off the dust and thought, why not give it a read? If you have never met Mother, myself, or Mia, I must assume you are unfamiliar with how these things go. No worries, you're in good hands. The woman whose home you, in which you are staying is very sweet. She is funny and charismatic and has five children, whom she loves dearly and countless grandchildren, who she rarely sees, which is why she takes in people like you. You are not in the presence of humans any longer. Please keep that in mind. Welcome to the house on Bradshaw Street. Rule number one, be polite. 1A, she has a habit of repeating herself, old age and stuff. Don't interrupt her or toot her out. She will become irate and stop taking care of you. The air will get colder and the food will lose taste and portion. Your stay will become deeply uncomfortable and you will find your things in odd places. Keep it up and you will fall sick. Too sick to leave bed. And then what would it be need to do but listen as she nurses you back to health? If that is indeed what she's giving you that medicine for. 1B. Please and thank you goes a long way. Be careful what you ask for. Nothing is free. Sometimes it's better to keep cold than to ask for a blanket and receive the freshly skinned pelt of some unidentified fleshy creature. Okay, that, that's a little bit terrifying. <laughs> We have more. Rule number two. Know your surroundings. 2A. Unlike grand and mother's house, this place is not sentient. Which is why the sun's changes into space can be alarming. I feel like I've read that before. Huh. You may see shadows and movement out of the corner of your eye. Don't look at it. In fact, act like it never happened. Whatever it is that's disturbing your peace is looking to be acknowledged, and you don't want to indulge it. To be, she loves having someone around and your things will go missing often. This is a tactic to keep you here or encourage a return. Leaving anything behind will 
result in fits of mania upon re-entering the world. You will be back before you know it. It's how she got me. I had known how cautious must one must be in her home until I got trapped in it. 3B. When leaving, do not make it obvious. When I lived with mother, I had a benefit of blaming my departure on a need to her. Grandma couldn't be upset and it was out of my hands. If you haven't got this excuse, your best chance to leave is slowly and meticulously. Hide your things in a blocked bag. Move it to different hiding places to avoid visitors touching it or grandma finding it. Okay, that's that's a little interesting. Rule three, Vis visitors. There are two or three Bs. That's interesting. Three A. Despite never having any company, the house is always full of visitors. They do not interact with her, and she ca often can't see them. They are here because of you. They watch the house until someone enters, and then they descend. They like when you're around. When she cooks for you, they are hungry too. 3B. Don't let the visitors eat your food. They will never leave. And the more they eat, the hungrier they are. They, are no, they will no longer care if the meat is dead or alive. 3C. You count as meat. Um, three, four, I guess. Lock your doors at night. It sounds childish, but make a habit to check under the bed and in the closet. Behind the curtains, even. They will notice you are vigilant and choose to hide elsewhere. Five. If you are ever face to face with a visitor, don't run. Don't scream. I know they look terrifying up close. The way their skin hangs, cracked and veiny, the way hey, their eyes gape at you, <laughs> mouths. Just greet them, smile and call all over your hostess with enthusiasm. Introduce me to your friend, you'll say. The visitor will run. It does not want her attention. Do you know she will think something is wrong with you and may attempt to nurse you to health with her medicine? Take it at your own risk. It's addictive, and as I said, I'm unsure if it is actually good for you. Rule 6. No lying. This one's real simple. She hates liars. And if caught in a lie, she will rip your, her tongue from your mouth and break down in sobs. I've never seen it, but the cookie jar edged with the word Amanda X, seeping with blood and full of bloated tongues, paints a pretty vivid image. Rule 7. Try to avoid her children if they stop by. It's unlikely, but it happens. I've only ever met one. She speaks in tongues and is looking to fight. She stands outside the house and yells. Watching her fills you with abhorrent rage. Do not confront her and do not take your anger out on your host. She is a delicate woman. She hasn't got the heart and she will call her other children to remove you from the home. Thoughts and prayers if it comes to this. They too are hungry. Mia, if this is the first thing you've seen from me since my disappearance, I am sorry I haven't been there for you. I hope to never find you in Mother's basement. The world is more different now than I would have ever thought three years could make. Please, continue to survive. I'll be back to collect any mail you may have left me. You can reach at the number on the back. If you have a phone, 
Don't use it for or this. Find a payphone or borrow from a friend. Talk soon. What an interesting find we we have there. Anyway, that was r slash rules horror. My eyes are closed. I don't know why. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!